everyone happy sunday how are you all doing <laughs> who is in the room whoa there's lots here already i wasn't sure because i only scheduled it very late whether anyone would be actually here <laughs> hi cat hi evelyn hi audrey hi ems how is everyone doing hi joyce Hi Mandy, Tammy, good day. <laughs> Two p.m. There. I've got hi Brandy, hi Robin. Hello, hello, hello. Hi Ruthie, hi Mona. Hi everyone coming in. Now I'm so glad the wedding was on Friday and not Saturday. If it had been. <laughs> If it had been yesterday, I would not have been fit for colouring today. <laughs> Let me tell you. Oh, dear me. Everything's just gone flat. Do you know, I think I've got some spaduki goings on in my house today. There's things just flying out the cupboards, flying off my desk. And I'm like, what is going on? Let me just try and get the... Um, brightness on this it seems so it, it does me it, this i changed my background from black to this and me, me um brightness went woo, and it was gorgeous hi louise um and today it's dull and i'm like what is going on and it's so frustrating i have no idea why it's being like this This book is so expensive, I want it though. I think, it, I don't know what it is in the US, but it's about, you can get it on Etsy, about £19 a year, but I got, a, there's a local one in Manchester, uh, what Kat told me about Station Every Corner, I think it was, so it didn't cost me that much, but I do know in the US it's, it's quite um, expensive. So I did put a post on about what people would like to see um, tonight colouring. Now the only watercolour pencils that I own, uh the derwent watercolor pencils now as you can see i haven't touched them the light brand spanking new um so i'm going to be using these tonight I've no idea how they'll come out <laughs> and what i've done i've just cut the little picture out of the back and stuck it in the corner so i'm not to and fro in because in this book i love how the artist does give you an illustration in the back and most of my pages that you've seen me doing here I've done the um, similar to what the artist has done because I just sometimes I like copying. <laughs> oh, thank you, Audrey. I did them myself. <laughs> I got me acrylic stuff out and um, thought, you know what? I'll have a plate doing my nails again. I've not. I self-taught myself years about two or three years ago to do them on my own, and then um, I thought, oh, I'll have a bash. I was really out of practice, but. It um, it's they came out really well. I was really impressed. <laughs> so yeah, the um, I did. They might zoom out, but I did like um, trying to get them to stay in focus. It's being, it's not behaving, is it? Um, let me just put the zoom, the focus on. Uh, so yeah, in this one I did. Um, it's not picking my nails up at all. So I did a gold to silver ombre in that one. And then I did a silver to black ombre. So it's all black acrylic. And did some fancy pattern in that one. And then matched it. But this is me. The hand. So I'm right handed. So I did this hand. And I was like oh yeah yeah yeah. And then when you come to do this hand. I'm really. As I, we call it cack handed. <laughs> so. But they came out really well. And the shape. I've got them pretty much. The same all the way along. So I was really impressed with myself. <laughs> hi louise hi stephanie i've just seen have i missed any others coming in um so it seems like there's a lot of people in love this book done this cat on the opposite page <gasps> yeah i did see yours ems this you you did that cat beautiful uh i don't think i've missed anyone ever oh kim hello uh kim i'm using derwent watercolors today so please bear with me i'm not sure where they're gonna go <laughs> so today i'm gonna be using the new derwent watercolor pen or paint brush 
watercolor brush um which is quite a fat one <laughs> quite a big nib but i got this in my squalor box so i need to take that focus off just bear with me a second because it's flashing uh, and then i'm using my old faithful montmerte fine and the tip is really really fine and pointy and that is for any of the little finer details so they're both locked and loaded and ready to go so i'm going to be doing the same take so here's the picture um which is in as you all know is in the back of the book and it isn't focusing just bear with me oh there we go so that's the page from the back of the book and that's what we'll be working on today so that's going in the corner thank you very much cat i was trying to find it and i thought i'm gonna end up being even later for my stream so i had to leave it in the end i just posted as many as i could <laughs> hi della how are you so yeah that's what we're gonna to do today so i'm gonna zoom in um And let's get on with it as we say so i'm going to stay a bit zoomed not too far in because obviously it's watercolor so i don't i don't want to um be too um zoomed in but not but not too zoomed out if that makes sense let me just get the perfect one on here now on this i don't know if i'm better with these because i've never used them before so i might practice so you're learning along with me so i don't know if to paint the grays on with the pencil or if i put it on my uh the caran d'ache tray and then paint it on i do prefer to put it on here and mix up my colors and get it on um leave the links for your mods <laughs> okie dokie Cat, you tell me off every time, I know, but I, I just like to make things a little easier and add them in when I can. Um, so, oh, can't you see? So, the watercolour pencils don't have an absolute massive amount of greys, but I'm going to pull them all out anyway. This is like a blue grey, but that'll be good. And then I'm going to bring out black and white because I could custom make my own. So I'm going to pull these out because the cat is grey and white. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to use the lightest grey we've got. I am going to get... Um, just bear with me a second. Got bags galore wrapped around my chair. I don't know what's going on there. What I want is just a tester sheet here just because I've never even swatched these out either. There's something I bought such a long time ago and then never used them. So I want to try and gauge which actually is because this one's a French grey so I don't really want that one so I'm going to put that French grey back because on the picture there's nothing really that kind of colour grey so what I'm going to start off with so I'm going to use silver grey which is number 71 I'm not going to look at the front of this image I hate snakes <laughs> Audrey. I think I hate snakes as well in the sense that I don't think I'd want to be trapped anywhere with one I don't mind going to like zoos and stuff and they come round and they put it on you and you're like they're taking care of the snake but I certainly definitely not one for um having one <laughs> so I'm just gonna bob I have practiced stuff on here before with watercolors so I know it's all right but I'm just gonna put that underneath um so what i'm going to do now is start working out 
kind of all these lighter areas so there's a lot of white oh you can't see the reference picture there can you let me change that to over here just in case anyone else is following along and wants to zoom in i don't know maybe maybe not there we go that's better hi christine no what's no what have i done <laughs> what have i done audrey <laughs> you wouldn't do you mean you wouldn't even um have anyone um even hand you the snake Lurking and throwing a birthday party. Oh, nice. Happy birthday to whoever's birthday it is, Christine. My mum used to have a 10-foot long yellow python named Daisy. By the way, it does hurt when they strike. Ouch. No, thank you. This is one of the main reasons why I'm like, I wouldn't go to um, Australia and places that have snakes because it absolutely terrifies me, the thought of snake being around so I'm gonna go around all these where the, the artist has got the white sections I'm gonna go around with this light grey first and hopefully these are very very like um, they feel very chalky these pencils very chalky indeed nope no way no <laughs> you wouldn't go to a zoo <laughs> oh I love zoos I'm a definitely a zoo I'm a zoo person that is for sure I'm definitely a, a zoo person so down here I love animals and um I'd love to feed the giraffes and stuff. I once had a tarantula on my hand for T minus two seconds and freaked and was like, get it off, get it off, get it off, get it off, get it off. <laughs> and the handle was like, please don't throw it, please don't throw it, Matt, get the thing off my hand. <laughs> so just, just see the leaves and think of it as something else. <laughs> oh, granddaughter's four years and husband's 90, 19th oh lovely say happy birthday to both of them for me hi sonette i live on a mountain and we have found snakes in our house a few times but they are small no no that that would be too far for me that too too far i think i've said to uh, tammy a few times what what's like the day what happens do you have to check all your shoes when you go to bed and she's like no <laughs> well i'm like how do you not have to check your shoes I'd be terrified. Me, I'd be saying to the kids, "Do not get in that bed without checking your pillar. Check under your things." <laughs> Honestly, I'd be terrible. Okay, so now I'm just gonna get my Derwent brush, squeeze it a little bit because I'm not sure. Right, oh, that came out extremely fast. Let's see what these do once do. Oh, okay. They're definitely not like the ink tents. That's for sure. Whoa, I don't like how much water comes out of that. I didn't even squeeze it. And it's like sending a ton of water out. I'm just keeping an eye on what I'm doing. So this is that light. I'm just going to literally go over where it's got white patches. Because when I put the darker greys on, it's going to leak light anyway.
My fondness ends with any snakes bigger than garden snakes. I don't think I've ever seen a garden snake. I've never seen a snake outside of a zoo. I think it was a big python thing. I'm definitely not a snake. I certainly wouldn't have one anywhere. So spread that everywhere. So what I don't know happens here or not is if um, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it on my board here. So I'm going to bring my board up here so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to put it on here. And I'm going to just wet it. So this colour I'm using is gunmetal. Hi Marilyn. Hi Deb. I'm in mean, top chat. I don't think everyone's messages are coming through the right way. Just bear with me a second. There we go. Everyone's the right way around. No to snakes. There's more of you don't like snakes than like snakes. <laughs> I don't think I've ever checked my bed unless it was camping. Yeah, but you have things over your windows and stuff like that, don't you? Um, as well, so I suppose that stops things, critters coming in, Tammy. <laughs> I'm kind of scared of these pencils, I'm not going to lie. They're a bit weird. They're not spreading kind of as nice as um, the ink tents do. And I never thought I would say that because, I mean, I'm not massive on ink tents. So, um, but they are a bit of a breed of their own type. I don't know if I'm using them in the right way, I'm honestly, because, like I said, it's the first time I've used them. Oh, there's some eye here as well. So is his eye dark on this side of his? So I'm just going to add some dark in places. Or these kind of fluffy areas. I'm Right now, I'm not too worried about where I place everything because I'm going to go darker and then I might put some pencil on the top. I might get my white hold line or a white pencil of any shape or form and I may put some flicks in with that. Our houses are screened, but because of snakes, but not because of snakes, but because of flies and mosquitoes. Oh, really? I've always assumed. See, that's what happens when you assume, isn't it? So just putting more gun metal down. Um, that's what happens when you assume. So I assumed you had all your like things for, literally for. Um, I'm just going to put at the side of this, I'm just going to put some silver grey here. And what I'm going to do is get my Montmarty one and blend out with that in a second. So everywhere we started putting flicks, I kind of want to add these in. But I want it to be loose like this is, it's not exactly... Uh, there's no formation, there's no like realistic cat fur looks to what I'm doing. I'm going to gradually get darker. These pencils tend to stay where you put them. Hey y'all! Hey Julie Lou! <laughs> 
Happy Sunday to you. Come in the room all bouncing happy and jolly there. I had such a good time at my friend's wedding. It was absolutely amazing. I got drunk. It was so good. I've not been drunk like that since the start, since before the start of the pandemic. And it just felt like things were just normal for an night. Just back to where they should be for one night. It was amazing. So what I'm going to do with the, my little Montmartre brush. Yeah, that wants to come through. I'm just going to use that and I'm going to try and blend out a bit of that. darker with the lighter kind of get it to spread a little bit more just so there's not quite such a harsh edge and then whack it off on a bit of thing just get plain water out now and then kind of smoosh it so we still get that white oh we've got a big long hair on there i still want that white space here but just so it kind of blends a bit better Have I missed anything? Tammy, would you wrestle a croc, strangle a snake and stomp on the black widow? You're tough. <laughs> if I had to, I would, but I prefer to leave them just to live their life. Would only do it to protect others. Marilyn, the more books and PDF, the better for our trip. Oh, where are you going, Marilyn? Okay, so then next up is our darkest in this set, which is a blue-grey, which is probably a nice combination to add, because in this there's kind of a bit of a bluey. You can't see it, can you? A bit of a bluey-grey to it as well. But I'm going to swap now to the smaller tip which is the fine Montmartre brush. And I'm just gonna add a bit of gum metal gray in with it because that's a bit too blue. I'm just trying to gray that down a little bit. I'm gonna make a new gray over here. Added that in. So that's gum metal and um, a bit of blue grey. And then I'm going to use this where all the darker bits are. And just flash it around. A private colouring plane. Oh, I want on that one. We definitely need food options for a flight. That is the one thing. This brush is throwing um, a lot of um, water out with it. So here I'm just... What is that? Oh, get off. There's a big long hair. <laughs> so I'm just kind of going in between all the darker areas. I'm going to go even darker again yet, but we're just going to do the process really slow and just add in the texture of the bits and bobs we need. We are all aboard the Shell Arty Airlines. Cat is the hostess and you are the pilot. <laughs> I'm the pilot. 
pilot. Oh, jeez, you would get nowhere with me as the pilot. That is for sure. <laughs> we definitely wouldn't arrive at our destination. That is for sure. <laughs> may have to rethink that one time let's find someone who's good with direction because i'm not i'm one of them people me i sit there when my husband's driving anywhere i'm the one that sits there and i have no idea where we've got there or how we've got to it hi sue how are you so i would definitely definitely not be um a good pilot So, yeah, I think we need a second pick there. Or we need a good co-pilot. <laughs> a good co-pilot would be much better, I think. Whiskey neat, please, and make it a double. Wowzers. Neat whiskey, Wow. enough to burn the cockles before the bed neat whisker I love how they don't dry very quickly and you can still kind of manipulate the colour around a little bit so I'm just going to get this off here because I don't like how much you've got going on there you can tell it's the school holidays round here <laughs> so I'm just going to take off some of the paint here and leave where the reference picture has got like little indents of light colour gosh my kids are lighting out <laughs> yeah. so there is kids outside playing, but mine are quite loud as well. Hi, Angie. When did you pop in? I didn't even see you. <laughs> Getting ready for a hurricane party later in the week. A hurricane's coming. Oh, gosh. I have a 75-year-old of Glenn Levitt in the bar. What's that? <laughs> I did find out it's holding up really well. It's not, I mean, yeah, it's got a bit of a, a bubble going on, but nothing, nothing too major. I think it'd be a lot easier if I could probably dry it as I was going, but we'll just see. I'm just trying to let it dry off a little bit before I go in. Cause I'm going to go in with some darker colors now. I'm going to use the black. Um, with the grey I mean I know I've not used them that much but I'd probably go to ink tents before I would go to um, these I don't know maybe not maybe not maybe I'm just being too harsh I just put my kiddies to bed now me time and watched colour Woohoo! yes ems <laughs> <laughs> two litres and we'll be colouring out the lines could you imagine so now what I'm going to do is kind of just this might be a bit hard to flick kind of want to just flick the colour in but it's not working where it's really wet have I not made it dark enough I'm going to add some black in as well, but 
and kind of want to give it some furry like texture now. So this is gunmetal and black mixed together. It's hard when you do watercolour, I think, to say kind of how you're mixing it. But I'm kind of flicking. Let me go a bit closer. I'm kind of flicking the black in. We'll just clear it up a little bit. So now I've zoomed in, I'm going to keep this here. So I'm using, like I said, I'm using my fine one and I'm going to kind of flick these in just to try and get a bit of a fur watercolour texture. Is that even the right thing to do? can't get it as fine as I'd like it, I don't think. I think I'd probably use an even finer brush. Need my little like derwent one I think. But slight it's dying a slow death that one. We definitely need the entire plane to be full class, like full reclining beds and everything. So when we're all tired, um, you know, we're all um, we've all got somewhere to sleep. <laughs> So I'm back on the house hunting tomorrow. I've had a bit of a break for a couple of weeks of not looking at houses because it's been driving me up the wall. Um, but tomorrow we've got um, a few viewings in. So I'm hoping this session of viewings may be a bit of better luck than we've been having. Because I tell you, we've not had the best of... Um, look right, I'm hoping this is leaking furry look at me I'm even trying to get it to look realistic with um, watercolour <laughs> honestly should just let it do its watercolour thing and there's me trying to get flicking involved and what not hello I just put Sawyer down for a nap oh Sawyer <laughs> it's so cute I love his name I love 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 his name So I'm going to bring these flicks this way. It's really hard with a paintbrush to flick. Oh, and I just hit the camera, which doesn't help things, does it? So what I'm going to do here I'm going to put some lighter flicks in as we go up. <sighs> Trying to make him look fairer. Thanks, Audrey. The flight will be easier. A 20 hour one, not much. Oh my gosh. So 
here I'm going to activate this one again and this was our not so white one but not so it was gunmetal wasn't it no it was silver grey wasn't it no it wasn't I'm lying so I've mixed the silver grey and gunmetal grey make sure I've got a nice good point on and then I'm just going to carry on putting some texture into that white and just doing what I've always done and gone think pencil think pencil maybe we'll get a watercolour kitty cat it looking realistic <laughs> so on the nose hers they're very like tight and small aren't they and then here this is a little mustachey bit so they're gonna come this way I'm going to need to add some lighter grey back in over here. I don't know if it will work with watercolour. I might have to do it with white pencil. And then gun metal on its own. Shots of grey. Did I just read shots of grey? <laughs> shots of floating babies did me in. Uh, watercolours, my dearie, watercolours. I'm just going to flick the odd darker one through there now. kind of blend this bit out a second so I can always come back in with some white pencil so I'm not too worried about it taking too much white out for now and I want a little bit of this um, blue grey just ever so Pen's just a little bit too dry. And I just want to bring it out from there just to blend it a little more. Felt like it was just two big round patches. Oh, keep getting it stuck under the so I mean when I'm doing watercolour I don't like the camera so close what I want to see I want you to be able to see what I'm doing I want him to look furry great everyone greeting me hi Azra how are you <laughs> tag or error you back Brandy I was really enjoying uh, Kari's stream earlier on uh, them Amazon basic pencils didn't look too bad at all. Oh no. Why is my pen being so unpredictable today? Okay, and then lastly, I'm going to go in with just black. So I'm going to put that in up here. I'm just going to come in with that black. It's a, not a very black black, that. It's an ivory black, but it's got a very blue. It's like a blue black. See that blue undertone to it, or is it just me? It's looking furry. <laughs> cool cat. 
as long as it's leaking firmer. No, I'm just going to lift my camera up ever so slightly here and just readjust the um, zoom. Because I just need to add some black in. And I want you to see what I'm doing, but I'm kind of don't want to keep cracking them. Um, So on all these bits here, you see where it's dark on the reference photo up here, is kind of where I want to add these darker flicks in. I'm kind of hoping it doesn't mush in like, and it just looks like one big Funny if I can pull watercolor fur off, wouldn't it? A detailed watercolor fur. <laughs> Hi, Kirsty. How are you feeling today? I'm going to have to get cursed to this book because um, for Christmas or something because she likes animals, don't you, Kirsty? And you'd be able to colour along with this one. So it's got some flicks of black up here as well in this one. I'm just going to add them in. And it kind of goes up here as well. And I'm kind of going out the line a little bit with the flick. So you can kind of get that illusion of fur coming off his ear. Ow, my elbow hurts on that. Hi, Cathy. How are you? Welcome, welcome. going to travel out from here. These are the short flicks from here. I'm just holding my brush ever so lightly. I'm using Derwent watercolours Kirsty. So that's another set of pencils you need to get along with some brushes unless you've already got them you may already have them trying to work out here so there's black here can you see what I'm doing I'm covering what I'm doing <laughs> I don't want to cover what I'm doing but I need to I'll just come this side and then you can kind of see what I'm doing That's going all the way up the top of the tip of his ear. 
Does it look good on the big screen, Audrey? <laughs> oh, that's good. It is smooshing a bit together, so probably what I would do is break it up again with some pencils over the top. Just some lighter um, ones later. Oh, I've lost my point of my brush there. Hi Jamie, how are you? Hi Terrelyn. Hi Renee. Oh well, it could be another excuse for Ian for it by some custody. <laughs> Tell them the next on your list. Well, if you like watercolour pencils anyway. So that's the black on there and then there's more black. Here in between these, it joins to that. And then there's some black kind of travelling out here. And then just a few coming this way out. And then I've got some here, like bigger strokes, black there. I think mine's a little bit greyer than... <laughs> Hi Mary, how are you? Hi Tonya, how are you? Hey folks, don't forget to plonk down your thumb. <laughs> Stick on that thumb. Blanket hellos. Prepping dinner. Mary, what are you having for dinner? You'll be cooking something amazing. So this part here is quite dark. I'm going to flick here. But I think it's drying up my pen. I can see someone's buying some glitter gel pens. A world within worlds and two Lulu Mayo boots, fingers crossed. Well, I have my, all my fingers crossed for you, Azra. So let's deepen up this bit here. So let's get flicking here. little tiny flicks down here I should really be turning my page to be honest so I'm going to come around here and mark his mouth a little bit And hopefully he's still looking furry. I'm going to make his eyes really pop. You know, like that grey advert you see. Do they call it a blue cat? Like that colour blue on the cat. And it's like a grey. It has piercing green eyes. I'm going to give him piercing green eyes. Because he's mixing all in this here. Hmm. So I'm going to kind of use this black in between all these bits here because that's where his fur is. Where he's morphing into, is it like a coral this I think? 
like a fish's carcass or some fish here. Yeah. So we're going to tackle some fish in a minute, I think. Because I think I'm going to do his nose a bit more. Um, what's the right word for it? A bit more pinkier. Okay, so I'm going to leave our cat like that for now. Um, I'm just going to bring in some flicks. Yeah, I just don't like how that's kind of just stopping there. That's better. Are they called Russian Blues? They might be. You might know better than me, Kirsty, what breeds. It's like the Sheba cat advert. I don't know if you have Sheba in America, but in the UK it's like the Sheba advert and it's like a grey, grey blue kind of cat with um, piercing green eyes. Gorgeous. A bit like... Um, <laughs> can't think of the name of the cats I'm thinking of. It's from the back of the book. So in all Ken's books, if you don't already have a Ken Matsuda book, um, I'll just slide that over. So the artist, who he does illustrated images as well that is coloured. Oh, it's a bit blurry, one second. Um, So he does all these in the back of the book. So instead of flipping to and fro, I just cut the page out because I'm never going to use them. So I've just cut that section out and um, I'm going to attach a wallet to this back page or some kind of paper envelope and uh, put the images back in so they are there. But it's just so I don't have to keep flipping back and I've stuck it up there. It's a bit hard for you guys to see that, but I can see it perfectly. I used to have a Russian blue. Sounds like what you're talking about, Shell. I did, but only at the back. They're not like, they're all equal, so it doesn't matter. So if I take this off and I open the page on the other side, they're both the same. So it doesn't matter. You don't like cut through another image. Do you get what I mean? So it's quite safe to cut it. <laughs> quite safe to cut it these are what you use these books for they're not precious precious <laughs> hi melissa how are you you can only buy his books on etsy uh i think that you can get them from amazon japan as well if you've got an amazon japan account i do know it took a while for it to come in and out of stock though i think right so his body's carrying on down here so let's get some of this gray back here i'm not going to flick in these sections here let me just come back down closer now i'm seriously going to get some better lighting but i need some advice on better lighting honestly so his body is going through here this lighter so i'm not going to concentrate on flicking in this because it just be pointless i'm going in all these bits which are hard to see what they are <laughs> these are fishes you can see these are fishes here and then there's fur here i think no it's gray so i'm right to do gray And the snake intertwines in here somewhere. Giving me a twitch cutting food. <laughs> Kirsty, I can see your eye like going and your head twitching away. <laughs> Don't worry, there was no harm in cutting out the book. <laughs> Um, Melissa, the wedding was amazing. I enjoyed spending time with friends who I've not spent a lot of time with. It was really good. I absolutely loved it. What was strange was being back in like a social gathering type of night out feeling and it felt so good. But I've kept my distance. You know, I didn't, I wasn't silly. Um, 
I still kind of did what I was supposed to do. Sorry, I'm just concentrating on looking where the cat is. Um, so I did everything I was supposed to do. Kept a safe distance and um, enjoyed the day. Come home absolutely pickled, but <laughs> who doesn't? And then I've had like a two-day hangover. <laughs> I wonder what would cost to ship to South Africa. Oh, I don't know. From worse than it, from America, if you got it from. Is there no Etsy? There is a few Etsy stores that do kind of sell it. I wonder if any of them ship worldwide. I'm just deciphering which is the cat fur and which is not. I don't know if I'm kind of colouring coral yet and thinking it's cat. <laughs> that's cat there cat fur so the snake goes here that's the snake there oh there's a bird's head there oh my god I didn't even notice it I thought that was part of the um... <laughs> I thought that was part of the oh snake Right, that's the cat's body finished. Just clean my greys off this brush because I'm changing colour now. I think I'm going to get some greens on the go. Let's have a look to see because there's all this coral. Let me do the coral because I might be able to put this straight on the um, page. I'm seeing this if see if it's bright enough. Oh yes. Oh yes, yes, yes. So I just want it sharper than that because I've got some fine areas. Pity we don't live close to Sunet, we could order two and share the postage. Oh that would be a good idea. Um so these here. So I'm using Crimson Lake 20 and I'm gonna kind of do halfway. I'm just going to do one first and see how far that spreads when I activate it and see if I need to put it all the way up or if that'll do it because it kind of goes off to like a pink towards the end of the coral so I need it to kind of travel but not as bright to the tip. Some yellow. So yeah, I just need to do the bottom areas of them. That is so small. <laughs> it's like really, really small. That's horrendous, that's an etium. Sorry that it's like that over there. It's really frustrating because it, it's just like, why can't why does posting have to be so extortionate in different parts of the country? I'm going in between all of these. I'm just kind of putting this red where the shadowed areas are. And then we'll spread it out with the water in a minute. Because there's kind of a yellow that's added to that as well. To these corally pieces. Let's activate these. I love how bright they go. When you start activating.
I just grab Deep Chrome Nine. It's number nine. This one. You're doing a crossword, Tammy. Yeah, I do like. I mean, I know a lot of people do like um, having a colouring book, but if postage is really bad then I would literally just get a PDF. Just pick the ones that you really like or buy the whole book PDF. Um, and then just don't pay the extortionate postage because then you can just print it off on the paper that you like. I mean, I much prefer PDFs for that reason. That you can kind of print it off. I mean, I've just found out my printer just gets jammed every time I try and add um, watercolour paper to my printer. So I think if I wanted to do watercolour printer paper, I would have to literally go and take it somewhere to get it done. But sometimes I enjoy doing it on the paper I really like. So if you can get PDFs, I don't think, I'm not sure about Ken Matsuda, I don't think he does PDFs. I'm just adding these orange tips in that's on these pages here. They don't want to dive straight into the snake yet. <laughs> I'm going to do his other eye now. So all these coral here. This one. So these are red. And just go in. Hopefully I'm close enough that you can see. And I'm just going to one side of the coral. So then I can spread it out and then add the kind of orange in. But well, there's some underneath as well. So these are a different colour here. These are green. I'm going to have to just pull this catch in the light a bit and need to see what I'm doing. One second. Some of these big ones are red. Sorry, am I missing anyone? And she's left me some clues on to something she's up to and the answer to one popped in my head in the middle of the night. <laughs> Tammy <laughs> Welcome back Sue The Art Savings Club is quite affordable I think my last book of coloured as well was expensive. Which one was I last doing? And you said it was that one was expensive to get to you as well, wasn't it? Wasn't one something like nearly triple the price of the book? Sonetta, I remember you saying that. So there are green leaves underneath. This one here I'm going to use um, Madder Carmine for this one at the back here. We, oh, we just broke. I just broke the tip of a watercolour pencil. 
this is just slightly pinker because in this one it is pinker and this bit here and it goes off into like a yellowy greeny colour and down under here activate all this in a minute it's going to be cool So they're all orangey after that. So let me just pop that back under there. So let's get activating this red. Pencil and all. <laughs> 30%. Oops, sorry. Oh no, the frog is rolling in. This is a fish jumping out here as well, I didn't realise. So let's get activating this now. So some of these, I need them to have a pink. It's so hard working in these tiny little areas. They are so tiny. Yeah, but my friend's wedding was proper country burn um, with animals and stuff. It was amazing. I loved it. I found out that I love a new drink called Blood Orange Gin. It was amazing. And I don't drink gin. Anyone knows me, I do not drink gin. At all. It's foul. But that was really nice. Purely because I couldn't taste the gin. <laughs> it's a shame, Sue, so it really is. It's just, it's like, I mean, the UK is the same in some respect with certain things. Like, I've gone on Amazon US and the prices between Amazon US and like what they charge in the UK here is extortionate. I mean, something that's really cheap in America is really expensive here. And I know it's the same for Australia as well. It's just a shame that we can't all just get hold of all the pencils that we really, really love for the same price. <laughs> like we're being robbed of our, um, what do you call it? We've been robbed of our pencil dignity and we want, we should make a protest that all art supplies should be the same price <laughs> from every um, colour. So I'm using deep chrome again here. So I'm adding the oranges in. So this has got an orange middle and this here. So all these tips go in orange. Uh, don't want to go too close because they're green. Then we want them to stand out so that's not orange. That goes into green. And these all go into an orange into a yellow. These bits are just so small, I can't see what they are. <laughs> right, so these have all got like an orange stem. And then they're going to go off into a yellow. So they're green underneath. Sorry, I'm going to start talking to myself here, aren't I? It's the same price, the cheapest price. Yeah, we should all pay the cheapest price everywhere. 
if it's 20 quid in England, everyone should pay 20 quid in the equivalent to their exchange rate. That's the way I see it. <laughs> so that, let me find a yellow. So we'll bring that into Primrose Yellow. I need to sharpen it because it's too, um, the actual pencil nib's too big for the section that we're colouring. So we'll bring that up. Oh, they're so crumbly, these pencils. This image is going to have that much going on. I don't even know if I'll put a background to it. These are all yellow. orange here and just a little bit on the base of these here oh they don't like layering over that's for sure and the yellow one here i feel like i'm really missing chat because i'm concentrating so much okay so i'm gonna Activate these. Whoa, that's a lot of water that's just come out of there. Let me just soak that up. So I'm just activating it and then blending it in, pulling some back in towards that red, pinky red and then activating it and pulling it up into that yellow as well. Oh, thanks Ems. I'm trying. It's quite challenging because some of these areas are like extremely small I might feel better when I get onto the snake so I'm like I feel like I'm concentrating that much that I'm forgetting that you're all there in chat and I'm like oh I just forgot you're all there So let's get some greens out before I move on to that. I need to add some um, Why do we not have a nice red in this set? So anyway, the top of his ear up here. This is all red here. Going off up there. And then the same all around his ear here. Can't believe I've missed all that grey there. Anyone? He woke up, so we're both watching. Oh, hi, Saya. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Don't worry, we can entertain ourselves. <laughs> so I'm adding in some deep, deep chrome up here. And then 
having um, primrose yellow all in this section. Let's have a see what that does. Let's activate. I was going to activate the really red one. I'm not doing that. Let's activate the yellow first. And into the orange into the red kind of spreading it about to get some more grey for there, I'll add that in in a second and then here as well now the image, this red is a little bit redder than what it is on the image here that's more red up here and this is more pinker the minute you start that horrible slithery thing I'm out of here Audrey, I'll hold it off to the very end so I probably won't do it on the stream. Because <laughs> I don't want you feeling distressed. Let me just get some of this grey back. Let's add some grey in. Because I kind of didn't even see this bit here. We've got some grey here. Just adding it in. And then the darker grey. It's reactivating it, which is really good on this palette. It reactivates really well. I'm just going to kind of blob that in just a little bit and then get the darker black and just kind of blob in well, we want that black as well thanks Lou how are you doing with your new job I know you and Ashley's both started um, new jobs this week so how are you doing with that Lou One more, guys, one more to 100 subs and I'm so excited I can scream. I'm so shocked because I only started last October. I remember being scared, but very happy with the support and love. Oh, congratulations, Ezra. That is amazing. Well, here is to many, 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 many more subscribers. We all want subscribers. Um, right, I want to use water green. Have a link. And then I'm going to go emerald green, I think. So I'm going to paint all these first. So with water green, all these little Lucan lily pad things. I'm going to paint all these green. 
Oops, I didn't activate that there. One minute, one minute, one minute. Oh, mm, mm. That's naughty. I didn't activate that. Whoops. -a. So, water green, number 44, and all of these. It dries this page really quick. That's what I like about it. And then it kind of gives it its form back. I don't know if it's the paper that does it or what, but I think it's pretty cool. So, they're a darker lily pads. I need this one here. These are all the same colour, but them ones further down here are a different kind of green. Okay, so I'll do the base with that. Okay, did I just put my watercolour paint pen down somewhere? Oh, there. <laughs> oh, dear me. Oh, that sounds so cool, Sonetta. Multi arts is amazing. Hey, Texas Beth. <laughs> How are you, honey? So, oh, I didn't clean my pink off. That's the disaster that happens when you don't clean your brush off. So, let's get activating that. It's not actually changing colour very much so sometimes when you put it down you get excited to see what it's going to activate to but then it's not this is not really changing its colour very much and my brush is wet it so I'm just kind of making sure it's all not too worried if some bleed into another I'm not that worried but on my board here I'm just gonna put the bottom right over here. on my board here I'm gonna put some which is emerald green because them leaves are wet now so I don't really want to add and then I'm just gonna add that onto them little to the leaves there and them shapes I just love Ken Matsuda's books I absolutely love them is anyone doing any cat hashtags <laughs> that this will fit into Oh, fantastic, Beth. It's nice to hear you're doing good. If you've got any hashtags running this month, please say what your hashtag is in chat because it gives us things to look forward to. And if you're having a bit of a colouring block where you don't know what to colour, it, it's good for thinking, oh, well, I'll have a go at that for hashtag I'm gonna think I'm gonna do a select with no I'm not just gonna leave it I'm just gonna leave it with these ones I want a darker green so let's stick with emerald and then we'll go with bottle green so all these ones down here I'm gonna carry on I'm gonna colour these with emerald green going towards the fishes some of this under here is green as well but like a, a turquoise green rather than a, a pea green 
as I call it. Cricket, rain and stir rods here, can't hear it on the roof. <laughs> Are you having a bit of rain there, Audrey? <laughs> don't send it down, don't send it south though, Audrey, keep it up north. <laughs> We're quite all right. We've had a few rainy days. Uh, so they're the same as them there. Oh, lordy, lordy. They're all the same as them. So we'll come back and do them in a second. So let's activate all these. I'll do the fishes in a minute. I need my glasses, I think. <laughs> do you know what I'd really love, though? What I've seen a lot of people use is them super colours. They look fantastic. Like, I really want them. Oh, nice, Beth. Oh, you will love it. Uh, so this is buckle green, so I'm going to put this on my board because I'm just, like, using this as a low light. And then this is just going. You're just giving the leaf texture with it. So I think um, I'm just going to let everyone know as well. I'm going to be knocking a stream on the head. Um, I don't want to... I've just been feeling... I know I don't want to make things negative. Because <laughs> I don't like negative streams and stuff. But I've just been feeling a little bit stressed with things. Um, with certain things that's gone on and stuff like that over the past and I'm just feeling like I'm not gonna lie I will I will say that I was feeling like I was gonna give everything up <laughs> on my channel but I'm not gonna do because that would just be silly because I would just miss everyone so what I'm doing I'm not gonna be streaming on a Sunday night Um, I will let you all know when the Sunday nights are stopping Um. And it'll be a Friday night, like normal, my 8 o'clock Friday night. And um, a Tuesday morning. The Tuesday morning stream that I do, um, I just need to finalise times and stuff like that. And then want for the Tuesday. Um, but I'm thinking that's what it's going to be. So I'm going to have a Tuesday morning stream. Because I absolutely love that Tuesday morning stream it's so funny not they're all funny all my streams are good but I feel like um I don't know I just feel like a bit I'm taking too much to heart and I need to stop it and I think if I if I stop streaming as much I can't take thing as much things to her if you if that makes sense um, but I'd rather be true and honest to people. I'm not a fake person and stuff like that. I can't, I, I just can't be fake. Um, so I, I wear me out on my sleeve and I'd rather just tell everyone how I'm feeling. And that's how I've been feeling these last couple of weeks. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm still going to do a Friday night stream. So I'm still doing an evening stream and just one day stream on a Tuesday. And then there's enough time that's gone past as well. So there's things to talk about and stuff like that. Um, but I seriously, I had a few days off last week uh, where I couldn't stream. Things was happening. I was really stressed out and not in a very good place at all. Um, and I honestly just was just going to chuck it all in. <laughs> Um, so 
um, that's what I'm going to decide to do. I won't be doing a Sunday night stream, but like I said, I might still be here next Sunday night. I just need to sort everything out and check that what the Tuesday morning streams are. At the minute, until the summer holidays are over, I think I'm still going to stream on a Sunday night. But once the kids are back at school, I'm going to sort it all out where I kind of just do my streaming on a Tuesday and a Friday. So I'm still around, but just not as much live streaming i'm going to start uploading a few more videos rather than that as well <laughs> because honestly it's just sometimes i don't know people who really really know me who chat to me a lot know how much i take things to her and sometimes i end up sitting here crying over things that i don't need to be crying over or it just makes it really stressful so i think if i'm not streaming as much i can't get in that situation if you get if that does that make sense what i'm saying <laughs> and i'm not saying it because i want you all to sit there and say oh you're all you, you know you're brilliant Shell, but i'm not i'm just telling you exactly how i'm feeling at the minute and i know a lot of people say shell i know there's something wrong because i can tell with the way you're being and normally I'm so bubbly and so, um, what's the right, I'm normally so crazy and loud and fun and I feel like there's, I feel like I'm not like that anymore and that's not what I want. <laughs> so I want to try and get me back. So I've had a few things, does it say right when I say I've had a few things knocked out of <laughs> me? So I'm not, I'm not saying it for a donor or a sitting there and thinking, oh God, she's just saying it for this. I'm not, I'm literally not. I'm saying it because I want to be honest and just get it out there. That is my reasons why I want to start just doing. Because I think I've ended up now where I'm doing like three streams a week and it's a lot. People know you stream, it's a lot. So I just, I need to find me and I don't think lockdown's helped. It hasn't helped at all, you know, with anyone. I think everyone's feeling it and I'm just, I'm not in the best of places mentally some days and that's for me to sort out. Um, and I will, I will. We'll get there. So I'm just using the same yellow as used up there, which is Primrose Yellow. Just doing around his little cute face. Um, but I just want to, I just want to be me again. And I feel sometimes when I feel like I'm not as laughy and jokey as I normally am, I feel like I'm letting you all down, you know, and I'm not giving you the stream you used to, or do you know what I mean? And I know you're all probably going to say, you know, don't be silly shell, but that is just how I'm feeling at the minute and I can't help it. So now I'm adding in our deep chrome, chromey, chrome, no, chrome. Uh, so yeah, I'm streaming on a Friday still. I'm just not streaming on a Sunday. But obviously that's only going to be starting in September. <laughs> Hi, Emily. I could just see your red hearts there. <laughs> You know I love uploads and live uploads for me. Get back to being you, Shell. I'm definitely Amdella. I'm going to try and get back to that person. You all once knew at the very start that was an absolute crazy loon. Laughing and joking and just being not stressed and stuff like that and I'm not that person at the minute and I don't like I don't like it if that makes sense so Crimson Lake just in the very corner of here hopefully a little clowny fish will start looking like a clowny fish but like I said I don't want to just give up on it I was having stupid thoughts and stuff the other day and I just thought 
don't be silly get on with it and I think this is the best thing to do just do a Friday and a Tuesday not stress not putting too much pressure on myself can sort the kids and why not and I feel better <laughs> You're feeling subdued, Shell. Yeah, I do. I think what's happened is kind of like going out this weekend with my friends has kind of made me realise how good and how much things have changed as well. Um. So, yeah, we'll be fine. It's just one of them things where just got to screw your head back on. It's got a bit wobbly. And I've just got to add my head back on my shoulders. I need to be around people, you know, who are supportive and stuff like that. And stop stressing about things so much because I'm a proper stressor. You don't realise, honestly, some people don't realise how much of a stress I am. I hide behind the bubbly, the bubbly person that you see. I hide behind it and I'm not always that bubbly person. So, right, so we're going to activate these now. Ooh, my desk just totally moved on its own. <laughs> oh. There's 100% support for you doing whatever you need to do for you, Shall We love you. Oh, thank you. I do appreciate it, but I just want to be real with you all and tell you exactly how I'm feeling. Um, I've been lurking and working on spreadsheets. Oh, what spreadsheets are you doing, Emily? Um, so I'm just going to activate this I must admit I do like the ink tents more than I like these they're a bit um, I don't know I'm not the biggest fan of these watercolours I mean they're lovely and everything but I'm a bit do you know when you put it down on paper and you hit the ink tent with the water and it just goes boom with colour? These aren't doing it. These are just, I'm wetting it down, so I'm activating it and it's just staying the same colour that I've already put down on the paper where with the ink tents it like comes alive. But this is kind of not. So I'm a bit slightly disappointed. Well, they're not bad. I mean, I could be using them wrong. I honestly could be using them wrong. So it could be me. You don't give up, Kirsty. Me. Kirsty, me, Lou are uh, getting in a car and coming to knock down your door. <laughs> car. <laughs> That'll be a long drive for you. But yeah, I was just having a bit of a shelly downer, but. And sometimes you just sit there and think it's just it's just too stressful. Okay, so that's one clone fish done. Hi Manavira, how are you? <laughs> Cause the you can borrow, borrow my prismas. <laughs> oh, my whole 60 prismas that I own. <laughs> you can come and use my prismas whenever you want, Kirsty. Yeah, I know. I know I don't need to be in um, a bubbly mood, but I just... I watched some back some of my first ever streams when I first started streaming and stuff like that. And... I was so carefree about everything. It just I wasn't bothered about what I said, what I did, what I'm doing. You know, I loved that bubbly person and I spent my streams like literally sometimes some streams I'd be up off my chair in that bathroom choking on my laugh. I was laughing that much about stuff and I don't know, I just need to get that person back. I'm just angry with myself. 
Right, why has this fish got so many flippers? There's a flipper here. There's a flipper there. And there's a flipper... Is that flipper? What the heck is that? Right, I'm just going to do something with that. Because I'm not 100% sure what that is. So that was Primrose Yellow. This is Deep Chrome again. So that's our white strap. So this is our... What on earth is going on with this flipper? These are flippers. That's a flipper. Plus if I step down from one of my streams, it gives room for somebody else as well. So that's good because there's more and more and more amazing colorists coming along and you know there's not enough hours in the day for everybody so that helps as well uh, this little face here with bubbly little fish lips shell you don't need to be bubbly oh i've just read that I'm refining a streamer schedule spreadsheet just for myself, putting them all in central time. Oh, I'm sorry, Emily. <laughs> I will let you know as soon as, um, if I change, well, I will be changing to that. It's definitely a Tuesday. I've been doing it on and off anyway on a Tuesday morning. Um, but it's definitely going to be a Tuesday morning and at my same time on a Friday night. I'm just going to be stopping the Sunday once the kids go back to school. Um, so hopefully it won't I'll mess your stream schedule up there too much Emily <laughs> which one was I using Crimson Lake and I tell you what lately the more way I've been feeling down and stuff my memory has gone shocking I'm like what on earth's going on I feel like um, these pencils do not like going over the top of each other. I think I've made a mistake with this here. Have you seen what it's doing? <laughs> Hi Mona, how are you doing? How's the recovery going? First time I was disappointed with these, but I really like them now. Oh Louise, you're going to have to message me and let me know how I use them properly because these are not liking um, going over that orange I've put down. It's like breaking up. And why has this fish got so many flappers? <laughs> oh, do you mean? Right. At first, uh, da, da, da. you and your family comes first, so take whatever time you need. We're all here for you, in, even the lurkers. Oh, thank you. It's only stressful if you make it stressful, Shell. I've told you don't get give it any space in your head. I know. I know you have. I've missed the bottom flipper. Oh, I have. Thank you. <laughs> Let me make it the bottom of the flipper red the top of the flipper red and just activate that flipper I know I need to get an angle on my anxiety and stuff it's not it's not good at the minute like I'm sat here you don't you don't know how many palpitations I've just had in the whole of this stream already it's horrendous some nights and I just think why is it happening? And it's not even like, it's not like a palpitation of like, blah, 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 dead fast. It's like a big thud and like a gap. It's so weird. You uh, don't make me stream, we will get banned. <laughs> you definitely would. You so would. Oh, thanks, Emily. Sorry, I just... <laughs> it's a good job I said something then. I just think if I, you know, stay streaming on the Friday night, that means, like, I can still do colourathons and stuff like that if I'm asked. And if I want to do any, I know I can slot on a Friday. Um, 
it just makes it a little bit oh no what am i doing see i'm not concentrating um i'll just get this off here quickly So yeah, I need to get sorted out with what's going on with these um, palpitations and stuff as well. Okay, I'm giving up on this fish. I'm doing it all wrong. It's got too many flipper flappers going on and it's really confusing me. <laughs> right. Loved in it. Oh, thank you, Texas. I've done them myself. Ooh, well, fingers crossed for your update, Mona. We cannot wait to find out that you're doing really, really amazing, which no doubt you are. Do you feel much better since your surgery in yourself? Once you accept they are not bright and are more muted, you are using them just fine. Flappers and flappers. Do you mean fins? Yeah! <laughs> I mean fins. Fin flappers are all the same thing. That's a fin as well though, isn't it? Right, let me just get some orange here. Because that's fin there. Just activate that. And then I'll use the red from here. Oh, thanks, Mary. Yeah, I got all my um, acrylics out and just thought, you know what, I'm not paying someone to do I'm just going to do them myself. So I did, like I said, I did this hand dead well, filed it all out, and then I thought did all this creative stuff and then went oh my gosh how am I going to do the other hand because this is I'm cack handed when I go this way and I did it I mean like if I do that they're virtually nigh on perfect this one's a bit of an odd shape because I've not took enough filed enough of the acrylic off that side but I did a gold to silver ombre I did a silver to black acrylic ombre I did a full black one that one and then I put a line of glitter acrylic in there and tried to get that to match the best I could, which I don't think I've done a bad job, but say I'm I'm um <laughs> I'm right handed and I did I managed to do my right hand pretty much if I put them together they're pretty much the same. <laughs> yeah I did. I did Emily, I did them myself. Oh no worries Ashley, you get all your attention on that little baba. He's on tummy time right now. Oh, No more back pain. No more leg pain. Numbness, thank you. Oh, Cack-handed means like... So, say you are left-handed, uh, right-handed and you're right, and then you, it's, some, it's just a, a UK term for like... You can't do it. <laughs> That's what I mean. So, like... I can do everything all right with my right hand, but when I come to do my left, it's awkward. Everything's awkward and can't really bend the same as I can bend this one. So, yeah. I just enjoy doing them. How long have we been streaming now? What time is it? Ashley, what time are you streaming? So, we need a bit of red up here in his ear. Uh, and then orange so yeah I was wearing black at my friend's wedding because black's my friend when I'm feeling fat um, put some red here too so I did my nails black loved it When I would do when I would do my own nails, acrylic or gel, it would be in all nighter, so I've 
actually gave it up. It's too much time for me to spend, but love the end result. Oh, it's good, isn't it? It's like when you put your top coat on, you can't wait to just get that top coat and just go and yoop, and all that shine comes and it goes dead dark. <laughs> I love it. Let me just go from the yellow bit. I forget that I shouldn't go dark to light. Bring some of that down. Why do I keep getting a big long curve on this brush? Can't work as well with our non dominant hand at the same, most of us are. <laughs> yeah clumsy like it's just not the same like you go in with your brush and just not it doesn't go in the right yeah <laughs> ashley's on in an hour i'm streaming in an hour later at 7 p.m east time 7 8 9 10 11 12. so you're on midnight my time How's the back of the tip? This is the Derwent, just Derwent watercolour set, not the ink tents. But um, it's okay, we've had no, there's no bleed through. It doesn't, this book, I've had alcohol markers in this book and it's not bled through. I've done a tester on it. I've been on an hour and 53 minutes. Okay, okay, thank you. Two hours from now, so 10, 11, 12. Yeah, thanks, Tonya. I understand I'm lefty but trained myself from young to use left hand for left side of face and right hand for right side of face when doing makeup and nails same yeah that's what I was thinking I was we should train myself in case anything happens to me right hand for colouring I need to train my left hand I might do one stream one night where I do left hand in colouring <laughs> Okay, so I've done the fishes. What are we on to now? So I need some teal. I need some teal blues. Let's have a see. Let's go. Um, what colour this is, I don't think this is a teal or blue. I've never swatched these so I've not got oh no I do like that actually so let's go with this one this is mineral green I'm going to add in a little tiny bit of um, kingfisher blue which will just teal it up slightly yes that's the colour I want I'm just going to spread that about here. So mineral green and kingfisher blue for this bit. And then there's some under here. This page seems a lot harder than the others I've done, just purely because of how tiny these um, these are. They're so tiny. Is 
It's amazing how many colours you can get into a two inch, two inch square and how long it takes. <laughs> Renee, what have you been doing? <laughs> Oh, 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 miss, miss, I know what that is. I know what that is. But I'm not going to say it because it's a surprise. <laughs> so I've missed some cat hair there because it's not snake. It's definitely cat hair. Uh, so no doubt I'll probably be finishing this off on Tuesday morning. So they're all purple. And just grab this a bit. I need to see a bit closer. So some of these flowers are a bit tealy. So if I Put that up to the like there on these. I might be able to just push them out with clear water, and then I'll get that effect of what's on the card. Because they like got colour at the edge and then the white. Right-handed colouring, yes. If you're a lefty, try right. Might do that. Did I miss a fish shell? Oh, I have missed a fish. <laughs> I'll do him in a minute. I'll do him in a second. I'm missing all kinds tonight. My brain is here, there and everywhere. Because um, I can always come back in. Oh, just gone completely out the line there. So if I get all the water off this brush now and then just kind of pull that out to the end. Should go really light at the end. I like how they kind of dry off but reactivate again. Sorry, I mean, you can hear me son in background there talking, I think. I'm not too sure how much my microphone picks up outside of being around me here. Yeah. But I know sometimes you've heard them downstairs. <laughs> so, yeah, I think that is what I'm after. Did you... Uh, oh, I've just read that, haven't I? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Tammy. It's like, if anything happens, like, to me, right hand, I, what would I do? So if I start learning to do it, with, if I can do this split stream, who wants to do an opposite-handed joint stream with me? Because <laughs> I think that would be hilarious. So just give me an inbox. Because I'm going to look at doing changing to StreamYard anyway. So I can um, have somebody else on stream with me. Um, so that would be quite fun. No, I'm going to do it now. I'm going to do a little fishy three now. Uh, but I'm not going to layer over, so let me go in with the red first. So I need to go in with the red. There's a little face. And a bit of red in there. A bit of red along his top flip thing. So that's a white line there. So he's going to have red here. Red there. And then red here. little clowny fish. I love finding Nemo. They're so cute. So that's his white strap. So then orange. 
which was not orange it's deep chrome in this uh, orange there the yellow primrose yellow oh a second I forgot his face so deep chromium then primrose yellow if I'm missing anyone I will catch up in a second Hi Dee, how are you? Oh my god, what a fun stream this will be. Oh, I missed who said. Hold on a minute. We have lefty scissors in South Africa. <laughs> we have lefty scissors here in England. Tam it. I will first on it. Me, me, me. <laughs> uh, I'd jet maybe. Yeah, I'm just surprised how long it took me. Oh my god, what fun this stream will be. <laughs> Mary, Mary's saying she, Mary's doing it. I know I'll do it, but wait, what are we talking about? <laughs> oh, Mary, you make me laugh. <laughs> just agreed to it. <laughs> <laughs> um so Tammy, you was the first one to say I ah, will well I think you were. I'm in live chat anyway. Uh, so if you're up for it, Tammy, we will definitely do it. Um So Mary, I was saying doing a stream with your opposite hand. So if you're a right if you're right handed you colour with your left. And if you're left handed you colour with your right. <laughs> Uh, but Tammy was the first to say, I will. So it'll be me and Tammy. <laughs> or anyone else who wants to get involved that night, I can put hashtag up and say, um, colouring with the opposite and. <laughs> you can all show me what you did. It's a little flipper down there as well. <laughs> I will wait what we're talking about <laughs> oh Mary so there we go I've done that little fisher I think I've got all parts of him down there now <laughs> Let me move my chat down now. I've lost. Shell, did you just say you were going to stream or something? You can have people on stream with you. Yes, I'm going to change my streaming platform. And yeah, I can already do that, so I guess I'm out. <laughs> no, very. <laughs> Yeah, Renee uses it and Angie sent me the link for it a while back um, and I've had a look into it. So I'd, that's, um, but it can only do so many hours so I might have to pay for it. So I'm, I'm just going to have a look at it. You know me, always there. <laughs> it's a chuckle there. He was just jumping. I'll do it. <laughs> I could have been asking you to run around. Were you swinging your bra at her? And you're like, I'll do it. <laughs> Oh man, an opposite hand stream. <laughs> that could be good. <laughs> well, how many can you have on a thingy? We could have a three-way stream, could we not, Emily? <laughs> that would be hilarious. Or four people, I don't know. <laughs> you can have three in stream, yes, yeah, so Ashley can too. You can have six people in there with you if you are not paying the, month, paying the monthly shell. Ten if you are. Wow. You can have up to six people on with you. 
So we could have Ashley, Tammy, Ashley, me and Emily all doing the other opposite hand colouring. <laughs> that is so cool. Mine would be Gillette. <laughs> Tell them I might look like it's been coloured with about by a one year old. <laughs> this could probably go absolutely crazy. Okay, so I'm using. No, I don't want Delft blue. We're not got a. Oh, well, that's the kind of purple I want. Uh, I'm using Imperial purple for these ones down here. I am just literally legit winging these colours. I'm just looking at what's on there and then going, right, we'll just see if this goes. So all here as well. We'll sort something out because I think that would be a funny stream. <laughs> we don't know how much we'll get done, but it will look horrendous. <laughs> I'm on OBS, but I don't know how you add other people to it. Or you could use screen capture through OBS. You could use Zoom. Oh, see, I'm no idea with that. OBS is free. Okay, am I out, Shell? This is looking fab, but laundry won't do itself. <laughs> no, it definitely won't, Renee. And thank you very much for coming along. I really appreciate it. So let's activate this. Oh, I'm going to have to have a look then. So if, all, if I could do it through OBS and have do it, I found a way of doing it, then that would be good. Because me and technology sometimes just don't work hand in hand. <laughs> I make a bit of a mess. So there's that imperial purple. This is a gorgeous purple. I'm just disappointed, like I said, and when you activate it, it doesn't go boom and like comes out of bright colours. So yeah, like Louise said, it's getting used to it being a bit muted, like, torn down. So I've got all the sticks there of that coral. I don't think there's any more purple. Oh, I'm going to do this purple and then into teal, I think, here. Let's get all these sticks here. Great stream shell. Love the pick. Going to eat. Oh, lovely. <laughs> well, you go eat, Mary, and um, enjoy your food, Mary and Tonya. Thank you for coming along. I really appreciate it. So I'm adding imperial purple here. But then I want to just put a bit of Imperial Purple down here. We'll sort something out to do a... I can't say left peg a stream because we're probably ones left and probably some are right-handed. So we'll just say the opposite hand stream. We'll sort it out and we'll let the community know what we're doing. Uh, I want... I want, I want, I want... Uh, let's go jade green into the end of these jade green because I think that would be so funny pick something abstract it probably would have to be <laughs> I really don't think I can colour with my left hand. I really don't. It would be hilarious though. I just want something funny and laughy and funny. Okay. Oh, that's way too much water again. Shell, do you did you finish your elephant? I'm in the process of recording it. I'm doing a colour along, um, a step by step on it. Um, so it'll be on my channel. So everything that got left over, I left a bit of the the elephant skin. 
um, I left this tree back on the other side of the page. Um, and some of the woodwork and stuff. So I'm doing that as an actual step-by-step -step talk through Colour Along. So that'll be on very soon. I've just got a little bit left to do. Because um, I was going to plan on finishing it tomorrow and then putting it on... Uh, not tomorrow. I was planning on finishing it Saturday and uploading it Monday morning. And But Saturday I was very worse for wear. <laughs> Uh, what time's your Sunday stream? Oh, that's Saturday night, that, isn't it? My time. Saturday, I'm awake on a Saturday night, your stream. I'm always on your stream. So that would work. If you don't mind giving up your uh, thing for us all to come and join you on that one. If not, I don't mind doing it on a Sunday night one on my time. I just need to decide whether it's StreamYard or OBS. Okay, I like that. What's going on there? So it's coming together. If I look at this and this, if I pull that out a little bit, let me just fix my zoom. If I just pull that up so you can see that there. I don't think we're so far right, are we? Obviously mine's a little bit more greyer there, but I might add some pencil white flicks in there. So I think if I finish these leaves off and then I call it a night and then I can do the bird and the, the snake on Tuesday morning. 10pm, yeah, it's 10pm for me on a Saturday night when Tammy's on. <coughs> Oh, <laughs> through StreamYards. We need StreamYards. Are you all right with StreamYards, Emily? So where was I before with these? Where's that little colour I had? So I'm going to go back to Water Green and all these. So this is the lightest one. I'm just going to give them a blanket quick whistle because I'll activate it and spread the colour out. Look at this it's fast colouring you'll see in Shell doing fast colouring. Put flag on roof. No, I think you just use, it's, um, oh, I don't know, you know. Do we get a link? I've not used StreamYards. I'm not too sure if we all have to download it or it, it just works. Um... I'm not too sure. Does anyone know how that works? Yes, Emily, Yard is a browser option. No download needed. That just went straight over my head, Tammy. <laughs> I'm glad Emily knows what you're talking about because you're going to have to tell me in chat later because <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, there's some sticky things there. So I need to come back with my purple and um, mineral there for them. So let's activate that. Spread them around a little bit. We 
you can make sure you have instructions anyway, Emily. Uh, I just send you a link and you join. That sounds perfect to me. <laughs> Saturday night is probably a really good night for it as well. I'm a bit scared now. Because <laughs> what's my colouring going to come out like? <laughs> it's going to be all weird. Maybe paint would be easier. Let's see if I practice with this. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I feel like I've got no control. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> what am I getting myself into? We have to decide whether we're going to do painting or we're going to do pencils. I think even with pencils I'm like, I don't even know if I can even hold the pencil in the same way. <laughs> I'm up for it whenever, 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 whenever Tammy's not got, have you got things planned? Are you finishing things off at the moment? What did I use there? It was emerald, not mineral, work jade, ah, there we are. So then I'm going to have uh, emerald green, so that was here. I'm going to activate that on my board. Is it this coming Saturday then are we doing it, Tammy? Or are we picking another Saturday? I have nothing planned, so this is perfect. So we're doing it on Saturday night. UK, Sunday morning Australia, Saturday afternoon US. Yeah, this Saturday? <laughs> this is going to be fun. <laughs> I'm laughing already. I won't be able to get through this, me. I'll just be laughing me head off all the way through. <laughs> but it's what it's all about, isn't it? We all need a laugh, so why not? Them little hands was funny as I I was laughing my head off watching that. What you can't wait. It was <laughs> my dad ass was hot mess. Will it eck Emily? Your tan hands came out amazing. And so did Belinda's. I was like, whoa, how are you even getting it so neat? <laughs> what should we colour is the question. Y'all should do the same page. Yeah, I think we should definitely do the same page. Oh, God, yes, yeah, suggested that the other week, didn't I? Blindfolded colouring. <laughs> oh, dear. Maybe we'll try that one day as well. That would be funny if you had two streaming and one telling the other where to put the colour. Now that would be funny. Might try that one as well. <laughs> where have I just put my pencil? That's just gone too watery. So yeah, I think I definitely need to have a play with these a bit more because I don't know if I'm, like I said, I don't know if I'm using them right or if it's just me, I'm not 100% gelling with them, but I don't gel with watercolour. Very good anyway. I just shove it on my brush and what happens, happens.
I am happy with this weekend if everyone else is. See how it comes out. Make it abstract, maybe a PDF, yeah. Emily, have you not got something we can colour? Thinking something intricate would actually be easier, cat. Intricate? Hold on a minute here. <laughs> intricate, is that not hard? Is intricate not little fine details we're talking about? Shell, pick a page now. Well, Shell, it happens beautifully. <laughs> I was just thinking to find hand control. Pick a page now. I'm just thinking what we could do. Um... I don't know. Definitely not a Kirby. <laughs> oh, what about? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I haven't done a World of Wonders page yet. Uh, Tammy, have you got Joanna Basford's World of Wonders? Worlds of Wonders. I haven't done a page in there yet. So maybe we could do something in there. Worlds of Wonder. Is that what it's called? <laughs> that shows I haven't touched that book yet. But we can have Ashley in that one, can't we, if we do StreamYards. Uh, what other greens are you using? Which is bottle green. So we could have four people in the thing. Emily, don't pick one with glass in. <laughs> oh, is it? <laughs> yeah, we can't leave Ashley out. Just be funny if it see which one of us practices. <laughs> Won't have time for no practicing. I'm just anything for a laugh at the minute. I need cheering up. And that'll be a good thing. Let me look. Because it's the same, I think it's a Noah for Ashley, uh, earlier than Emily. I think Emily's, are you, are you central, Emily, and Ashley is eastern? I think, I think I'm right in that. <laughs> I'll just be winging it, I'll be winging it. You know me, wing it shell. This is funny. So I hope you all come and watch, because um, this will be one funny stream. <laughs> Oh, 
I was right. We could do the hoses on the flower stems. I think I've seen that one. That one will be quite all right, I think. Nothing too majorly. <laughs> So what pencil, are we going pencils or are we going paint? Which is the pit? Let me get my book out and have a look. It's right there. Let me just finish these little bits and we'll have a look. Because I've only got uh, these last little bits to do and then I'm done for the night. And you definitely, all four of us cannot do anything with our other hands. We're not ambidextrous, are we? Yeah. Pencils, okay. Are we all going with the same pencil? Um, or are we doing different pencils? I think I've got them looking good over some there. I don't think I've missed any more. What's on there? I don't think I've missed any more there. Oh, I have here some little ones. Not too much to get done and relatively easy. Also beautiful, yes, pencils. Absolutely, yes, pencils. I'm so righty. <laughs> I'm so ratty as well. It's going to be hilarious. Don't think pencils type really matters, whatever you are comfortable with. Yes, let me check this page out. I think I've seen it. One second. I've got this book here. That's what all the flowers, I don't want that one. So while that's drying, a second, I'll just pull this up. So we're going to do the Page with the flowers on the stem. That's my secret project. That let's whiz past that page quickly. <laughs> uh, where are they? These. These ones. Good night, Louise. Thanks for coming along. Colouring event of the year. <laughs> this one. I don't, there's none on the other. There's no other ones with stems, is there? Yes. Yes. I like them ones. We'll do that Saturday night. <laughs> we are crazy. So yes, join all four of us, Ashley, me, Tammy and Emily. While we stream one crazy night of, for me, left pegging it, Ash, uh, Emily left pegging it, 
Ashley is a lefty, so I know she'll be right pegging it. And Tammy is a lefty, so she'll be right. She'll be right. That's a really good mix. So we've got two righties and two lefties. <laughs> That's going to be funny. It's funny, funny, funny. Right, how long have we been on? Okay, so I'm going to leave it at that. Um, I'll be back Tuesday morning and we will do um, the snake and the bird because there's a bird here and there's the snake and he's a bit of a right funky mix of colours. So I'll be back Tuesday morning. Um, I'll be streaming Friday night at uh, 8 o'clock and then we'll have this amazing event. We better get something... <laughs> We better get some thumbnails up and getting this cranked out to the community. <laughs> oh dear me, some crazy ideas. But we are going to do the blindfolded one because I think that will be funny as well. <laughs> so, please do not forget Ashley is on in just over an hour and a half. Um, streaming with a surprise <laughs> so please head over to um, Ashley's channel later on I'm doing that at leaving you all for now <laughs> and I will catch you all in um, Ashley's chat uh, so thanks for all coming for watching sorry I got a bit of a downer on you all but you know what I mean sometimes it happens you can't be happy clappy all the time <laughs> Uh, but I am so looking forward to Saturday night now. This is going to be so funny. <laughs> Putting that event in my diary. <laughs> so thank you everyone and I will see you all soon. Thank you mods for doing an amazing job. And I will see you all very soon. Much love. Goodbye. <laughs>